Hey everyone, how are you? Today I am reviewing stockings from two different brands. One of them is Swedish stockings and the other one is Wolford. I really wanna find out which brand is better and in order for me to figure that out, I am going to list pros and cons of both brands. I've been testing both brands for a while. So I've worn Wolford tights since I was 15. I'm 30 years old now, so that's 15 years. And I really remember trying them on back when I was 15. One of my friends had recommended them to me and I finally bought a pair and I was just amazed when I tried them on for the first time. They are nothing like the cheap ones you can get from high street stores or from the drugstore or wherever you buy your tights. And I have been a loyal customer at Wolford ever since. So Swedish Stockings is a newer brand that I discovered about a year ago and I have been wanting to try them out ever since. And I finally bought two pairs from them, two pairs of tights, because even though I love Wolford, their tights are also very expensive and I really wanted to try out another brand to see if I could get the same quality for less. And the way that Swedish stockings produce their tights also made me curious and I will tell you more about that later. So I want to do Wolford first and as I've said I have been loyal to this brand for 15 years and that is a really long time. So my absolute favorite tights from Wolford are the ones called Velvet Deluxe. I really like the way that they feel on my skin and I really like that they're easy to put on and I also really like that they look great for a really long time before they eventually break at some point. So my pair of Velvet Deluxe tights are 50 denier, which means they're not totally see-through, but they're not at all totally black either. So in general, I prefer tights that are a little see-through, but not too thick, but a pair of Wolfords also have to last for at least three months, I would say, to justify the cost. So I don't want them to be too delicate. On some occasions, I have bought 20 denier Wolford tights, but only in outlet stores where the Velvet Deluxe tights haven't been available. All of them have eventually ripped due to various reasons, but I don't remember any of them just ripping out of nowhere, like the really cheap ones you can get at the store. Those can rip just from putting them on, it's crazy. With my Wolford tights, it's always been because they got stuck on something like a wooden bench or a wicker chair or something like that. And I believe that I have also ripped two pairs because of cigarette embers from either my own or other people's cigarettes back from when I used to go out when I was younger. And some have ripped due to cats walking all over my leg, my own cats, or due to other people's pets like a dog jumping up up and down in excitement and if they haven't ripped because of that it has at least pulled some fibers in them that has made them more vulnerable to breaking later on. Basically I don't remember my Volford tights ever ripping because of the quality of the tights like the tights being bad quality. It's always been because of something else and the world is just full of hazards when it comes to tights especially if you are around animals a lot like around pets and especially if you like to go out partying because you don't really think about what you're doing. You really just have to be mindful while wearing tights and watch where you sit and watch what you wear. For example, a short dress will leave a bigger part of your tights exposed and that will make them more vulnerable than if you were, for example, wearing a longer dress. So tights are just delicate no matter the brand and the expensive ones will also break eventually, but they will be a lot more comfortable to put on and they will also be a lot more comfortable to wear. And they will also look a lot better on you and they will last much longer. So in my experience, Wolford tights are super high quality and they are very durable. The ones that I have right now, I got them in May 2023 and I'm still using them and I've worn them about twice a week since I got them back in May and now it's November. So until now, they have lasted six months and there is only a tiny, tiny, tiny hole in the toe area where my cat's claw got stuck the other day. There was nothing I could do about that. That was, uh, that was sad. But even though there's a hole, it still hasn't ripped and the hole is really, really small. So I am really hoping that they don't rip at all. I paid just about 38 euros for these Velvet Deluxe tights. 
These are some of the cheaper ones from Wolford, and I think the price is fair because you get some really nice and durable tights for that price. So the other brand that I have been testing is called Swedish Stockings, and I found them very interesting because this is a company that is actually very happy to take responsibility for how they produce their products. Cheap bad quality tights are usually just worn once, then thrown away because they break so easily, and they are also made of nylon, and the production of nylon is very harmful for the environment. But Swedish stockings do things differently. These are Italian-made tights, and depending on the specific model of tights, they're made of various recycled materials. Some are made of recycled fishnets or pet bottles, and some are made of fibers from the castor bean plant. They also make furniture from recycled tights. You can even mail them all of your old broken tights, no matter what brand they are, and get a 10% discount code. And you can read more about that on their website, there's a link below. They also have a members club where you can collect points from every purchase and use them to get a discount. They also offer a variety of bundles where you get two or more pairs of tights or socks and save a total of 15%. They are very transparent when it comes to the production and they also have a list of where their factories are located. Every pair of stockings is made in Italy and shipped from Sweden if you buy them directly from their own site and not from a reseller. And they also offer a 30-day warranty on all products. I'm very excited to share how well the tights that I got from Swedish Stockings have done and what it's been like wearing them. So I got two different pairs. This pair is called Tora Shimmering Tights and they're well shimmery and only 20 deniers, so they're very delicate and I plan to use these for New Year's and other parties and celebrations. And these were 36 euros, so almost as expensive as my Velvet Deluxe Bulford tights. And the other pair is called Doris Dots tights. They have small dots all over and they are also available with silver dots instead of black dots. These are 40 deniers, so they're almost as thick as my Velvet Deluxe tights, but they only cost 26 euros, which is 12 euros less than my Velvet Deluxe tights. So I have only been wearing the Dora Stops tights for the test because those are the ones that resemble my Velvet Deluxe tights best. So I figured that was the best way for me to do a fair comparison. It's been a week since I got them and I have been wearing them every day since then just to test them and their quality. So I'm gonna be doing some pros and cons for each brand and I'm gonna start with Wolford. The quality is great, no doubt about that, and they will last for a very long time. They look amazing and they feel amazingly soft. They're very comfortable to wear. The waistband feels very elastic and strong and so does the whole garment. And because of this, they are super easy to put on. Wolford's selection of tights is huge and the design is beautiful. They offer a 10% discount and other perks for new customers if you make an account. The fact that they make durable clothing and tights and the fact that their production is located in Austria is great when it comes to sustainability and responsible production. However, and that leads me to the cons, I don't see any indication that their tights are made of recycled materials. They have a clothing collection called Aurora, which is made from recycled materials, but it says nothing about the tights, so I'll just assume that they're not made of recycled materials. And the cost is another con. They're more expensive than other quality brands, for sure. And I also think the membership perks could be more generous. It's great that they have these membership perks, but they could definitely be more generous. And now I'll move on to Swedish stockings. They offer a 15% discount on all of their bundles. They have great membership perks that I talked about earlier. They are invested in running a sustainable company and providing production transparency for their customers, which is amazing. In my opinion, the world really needs more companies like that. The quality is good and definitely way better than cheap tights from the store. For example, there's a reinforcement around the gusset and there's extra reinforcement around the belly and back. They also have a good selection and the various designs and colors are very nice. And the prices are fair, especially if you get a bundle of three pairs you can actually get nice tights for a really good price. 
Depending on the bundle, the prices vary from 64 to 84 euros. So even though these tights are nice, soft and elastic, they are not as soft and elastic as my Velvet Deluxe Wolford tights. Putting those on is like sliding into butter and I'm never afraid of them breaking or ripping or anything like that while putting them on. But the Doris Dutz tights feel a little more stiff in lack of better words. So you definitely have to be a little more careful when pulling them up. But that is actually the only con that I could think of compared to my Wolford tights. I am generally very impressed about this company and about the quality of their tights. So just to sum it all up, by choosing Swedish stockings, you get really good quality tights for a really nice fair price. And you also support a sustainable company. And by choosing Volford, you also get really high quality tights, but they are a bit more luxurious than the ones from Swedish stockings, definitely but they are also more expensive and they don't have the same focus on sustainability. There's a little bit of it, but it's not a whole lot compared to Swedish stockings. In the future, I will probably buy more products from Swedish stockings because I really like their products. I think they are beautifully designed and I also love the opportunity to support a sustainable company. I still have a few things on my list that I haven't bought from them yet. But at the same time, I will still continue loving Wolford. I mean, how could I not? They make amazing tights. They are wonderful and I certainly haven't bought my last pair of Velvet Deluxe tights from them. And that was actually all for this time. I hope that you found this video informative and helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and more lifestyle content. And I will have a new video for you again very soon.